we're back. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Tell your friends, comment if you feel like it. This time on Finnegan's Garage, we are trading this really mediocre, likely crappy Chevy Suburban for an eight wheel Argo all-terrain vehicle. And we're gonna find out, will it float? Because that's really all I care about. All right, so here's the story about this Suburban. I've never driven it. I've never looked inside of it. I've never even opened these doors. <laughs> I bought this, I think out of Pennsylvania because allegedly it had better doors on it than what was on the OG ramp truck. So while the OG roadkill ramp truck was in the body shop, I went looking for doors, found this, called up Tony Angelo and said, can you go look at this thing? and tell me if it's any good. I really only care about the doors. And Tony goes, yeah, thing's clean. And I'm like, all right, cool. So his buddy hauled it down to Georgia from PA after I bought it. And then uh, it showed up, I took one look at it and went, nope, these doors are worse than the ones I have. We're not gonna use them. So it's sat in Newburn's backyard for the better part of probably two years now. And other than Newburn periodically driving it around the yard, we don't know anything about it. It's four wheel drive, has a small block, 700R4. It's a square body, which makes it cool. Um, so I threw it on the internet and said, I wanna try out an Argo six by six, you know, see what they're like off-road and see if they float. And does anyone wanna trade me? And Greg from Redbeard's Garage said, heck yeah, I've got one that needs rebuilding. I'll rebuild it. I'll come meet you in Georgia and then uh, we'll swap and, um, we'll go take the Argo in your lake, <laughs> which is gonna be amazing. So uh, Newburn, I think, and his wife washed it yesterday, put gas in it, aired up the tires, and towed it here. And beyond that, I mean, I kind of vaguely recalled what kind of shape it was in. Like, legit, I haven't seen the interior. I've never looked at it. And uh, I had a lot of guilt, so we're gonna throw <laughs> Red Beer some parts to go along with this, because I don't think this is really an even trade. I don't know much about those six by sixes or eight by eights. I, I see them for like $3,000, $4,000. I've seen them for $10,000. I really don't know what shape his is in, but I feel like I don't want to burn him. So we're going to give him this and then a Holly sniper system that came off one of our project vehicles, some other stuff. And uh, then I'll sleep better at night. Um, although if we take the Argo in my lake and it sinks to the bottom and I lose it forever, maybe we are even, I don't know, <laughs> but we're going to find out today. <laughs> Well, I did fill it up. I filled it up with fuel, which was like 70 bucks. So there's <laughs> that. Um, and the interior is pretty good. It's way better than the outside. Oh, so. oh, good. Yeah. Oh, I feel less guilty then. Sweet. All right, well, let's unstrap it, get it off. And they're waiting down the street. So we'll go meet them. Oh, you're right. The interior, I mean, the carpet's hammered, but like the door panels are decent. Yeah. Seats yeah. look okay. That's not bad. Oh, I mean, it's got an overhead console. It did. Half of it's, half of it's here. Okay. All right, I feel, I feel, I'm feeling slightly better. It's not bad. Oh, the rockers are okay. Hmm. Maybe right there. So, <laughs> so sometimes this thing has a hard time starting. I don't know why. It's, maybe it was low on fuel or the, that TBI injection. I don't know the thing's junk, but yeah. So it's a small block with throttle body injection from the factory, and uh, we're going to kick down a Holly Sniper off one of our project vehicles that we uh, recently sold. And I don't know. Maybe they can install it. And maybe it'll work better. We'll see. Maybe it was out of gas. <laughs> this whole time it's been in your backyard. Right on. All right, well, mow them back. Mow them back. Here's the uh, Make Mike Sleep at Night package. Uh, Holly Sniper EFI system. This will bolt onto a four barrel intake. We already had this on a project vehicle, sold the project vehicle, took it off. We're gonna give this to these guys because they may want to run this on the bourbon. Garage door lighting kit. Basically, you open up your garage door. I've shown this on the channel before. And uh, LED light strips illuminate the dead area under the garage door where normally it would be dark. So, got one of those for them. Really cool finned aluminum air cleaner from Holly. And then uh, 
they are towing that thing home with an F-150 on a trailer that might, might be big enough for it. I'm not sure. So wire care road ration kit, just in case, you know, you got a t-shirt in case you end up naked for some reason, you got zip ties, you got hand tools and, uh, probably most importantly, there's candy and a beef stick in there. And then uh, a whole bunch of other Finnegan Speed Marine swag in case his crew ends up naked for some reason in, in the woods. You know, you, you want to protect yourself and not go to jail. So we'll put all this in the bourbon and go meet those guys right now. Okay. Oh, dude, the back seat is clean. That side window's been shot with something. Okay. Overhead console's a nice touch. It's either the exhaust or someone smoked in here. I'm not sure which. It wasn't me, though. There's a rear end in here. <laughs> It's just a housing. Is it the bent one out of the Nova? Or is that a truck? I've never opened the back. You know, I've never looked back there. Oh, well, it came with a rear end and a 2 by 4 <laughs> That's not very classy. Maybe a, Oh, my God. The AC. It has rear AC, but it's falling down. Somebody jumped this? It wasn't me. I'm going to move the 2 by 4 just because that's not classy. Okay, it doesn't want to go out that way. We'll open the back. Do the rear doors open? Oh yeah. Is it about to shut off? Sure sounds like it. Oh. Ah, ah, stay running. EFI, huh? It's definitely gonna need that sniper set up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep loading because I'm sure it's gonna start again. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Because we tend not to buy the nice things. Okay. This thing's filthy. Did you um? Did you take this off to give room for the GoPro mount, or? Uh, that fell off on the way up. Oh, all right. We'll just we'll just tuck that in here in case. Watch this thing three times, dude. <laughs> it's really, really dirty. It's really, really dirty inside. <laughs> I don't even want to. Oh well, I don't even want to like close the door. It's pretty funny that my first drive is going to be my last drive in this, and I'm going to drive it 50 feet. <laughs> It's as if you're like test driving like a car at the car lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good sign when you have an EFI equipped vehicle that you have to like yeah. you have a car <laughs> Yeah, dude. All right. You just got to make it 50 feet drunk. <laughs> I feel like we're both committed to this trade. Oh, my window works. I should probably put that back up though. Yeah. This one doesn't seem to work. This doesn't work. I'm just gonna tuck that back in there. Oh, there it is. There it is. That thing's huge. Dude, that thing is oh, cool. Truck's to die. No, no. This is not a good sign. I'm just gonna park it right here. Cause I don't want to block the oh, driveway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't want to block the driveway. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody in. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I was, like, I was like, it's not going. That's because we're still in reverse. <laughs> okay, let me uh let me back up some. <laughs> yeah. You're right, the back doesn't seem fun. No. Up here is awesome though. <laughs> All right, so I want to set the brake. <clears throat> Pull hard. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Cool. Oh, boy. Ah! You're not even filming. <laughs> I nearly killed you, and we didn't get it on camera. Okay, uh, I want to go that way. Ah! Let's roll the trailer to the Argo, because I'm going to run it over, dude. All right, ready?
Cool. All right. It seems legit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Let's go. I need a. I need a mirror for towing. Okay. You ready? All right. We're going high gear. It's so weird, like, breaking his back. So, like, my natural inclination is to go, stop! So I may, I may kill us in traffic, just saying. Ready? Dude, it works great! We got a new launch vehicle now. I feel like the brakes are sticking on one side. Yeah. Yeah, there's something going on with this one right here. We got brakes there. We got no brakes here. The one side's working, the other side's not. So like, so like this one. That's the one that did that last time. Nothing there. This one's, and so I was like, I can't, I couldn't turn it. That's the exact one that did that last night. We pushed that plastic, that green down. So maybe we just need to. Tighten it up again. Uh, this right here is dripping somewhere. Yeah, I think it's out of the bleeder. It doesn't don't look like it right here. Oh, it's coming out of the bleeder on the other side. Looks like it's bubbling. Yeah, it's bubbling a little bit. It's getting tighter now, but it's still, I mean, it should grab here. And I know that's a 13 mil to bleed that. We can go get some tools. Let's go get a 13 mil and some brake fluid. And I, uh, I got dot five in my truck because it takes dot five. Oh, okay. The heat. Oh, awesome. yeah. I don't have dot five, so. I need a Phillips Perfect. head, a 10, 10, 13 Phillips head, and dot five. That's a shifter. It's it just fell down. down. It goes through that hole. Oh. Yeah, about bit. It's Woo. low. It's this hot. It's hot. So don't put my face on that, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's full. So I bet it's full of air, which we didn't bleed it much last night, so we'll hope that's the case. Really? Dude, it makes the tightest U-turns ever. Like, so, I almost jackknifed the trailer going forward making a yeah. U-turn. Like, no, most people back up and jackknife their trailer. I was making a U-turn around a pole and was like, oh, whoa, okay. Yeah, so when you turn, like, it, it turns so abruptly, and the trailer is just like, it's just like pulling it completely sideways. <laughs> it's got full brakes again. <laughs> you, you didn't even work on it. No, yeah, no. Oh. That's the way it was last night. It was like... I wonder if you taking the cap off somehow... Yeah, like it was vapor yeah. blocked or something. Yeah, from heat, uh -huh. from heat or something. Yeah, I know it gets crazy hot under this hood. And you're you're running it pretty good. So. Yeah, maybe I need to slow my roll. On the disc. Like, That's what we was thinking. Like brake fluid got on it. Yeah. I think it's working. I think there's something, something on it. It's slipping. Yeah. Alright, the front ride's pretty good. Like, I just ran over that bump. I didn't even feel it. So fun. Uh-oh. Coming in hot. We're making it. 
Ah, paradise. Technically, we've made it to the lake. We haven't launched the skis yet, but. So on dirt, you grab the brake and it spins. It's way easier to maneuver on dirt. Sweet. Yeah. And this is so, so far. So what's happening? This is working. You were grabbing that and pulling on it so hard, it probably got. It probably just hung the piston up. So when I release it now, now that you want to do that as hard, now you're on dirt. Yeah, on dirt, it's just you just grab it and it just starts pivoting. It's yeah. super easy. So yeah, Newburn, we'll just launch it and see if it'll pull it back out. And if it does, then we'll unhitch it and we'll drive this thing right out there. Dude, it's so fun. Um, asphalt is not where it's at. I thought I was having fun on asphalt. Then I came down here in the dirt and uh, the brakes are way better. You grab a handful of brake and it just pivots. It wants to spin. And I'm guessing what happened was I was pulling on the brakes so hard on the asphalt to get it to turn that I, I probably over-traveled that piston and just stuck it or something. I don't know. I don't know what I did. But uh, now that we're down here, it works really good. And the next thing we're going to do is see if it will launch and retrieve the jet skis, which we'll probably just dunk them in the water and pull the trailer out. And if it'll do that, then I think we unhook the trailer and try to drive this right in the lake and see what happens. <laughs> oh, wrong way. It'll take some getting used to right here. Like a boss. It's in there. All right, so see if it goes out. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. No way. Oh, dude, it's like it's not even there. This just pulled this out, no problem. And I think it has plenty of cojones to pull game over out of the lake. My worry about trying to do that is getting down here, going down the hill, like game over on the trailer is probably 3,500 pounds. And I'm guessing that's double what this weighs. Yeah. So the brakes on this are not stellar. They're fine for me <laughs> and they're fine for jet skis, but taking game over down here, I don't know, the risk versus reward is kind of high. I think we'll keep using the pickup for that. Um, but now that I know I have something to launch the jet skis, the only question left here is, <laughs> Is it really amphibious? Can I drive this in the lake? Let's go find out right now. Okay, I'm gonna put it in high. Here we go. Oh my God. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm in the water. I can feel, I can feel it touching. I can feel it. Oh, we're, we're floating. We are definitely floating. Okay. Uh, we are floating. The wheels are not on the ground at all. How do you steer this thing? All right, here we go. Okay. All right, there's the left turn. Uh-oh. I might have to, I might have to try reverse. Oh, it's like a break! I got brakes! All right. Come on back. Yeah! <laughs> wow, it really does float. If I can just figure out how to turn. It's working, dude! <laughs> wow! And we'll turn right. Dude, it is so cool! Go. 
cool. It really wants to make left turns. This is incredible. Name another UTV that you can do this with. Oh, this brake might be stuck on the left side again. So, uh, it only likes to make circles to the left. I think that caliper's hung up again. I'll fix it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't tip over. It could maybe use a little more flotation in the front. Got it. Oh, it already locked the brake up again. I'll come get you. I'm just gonna drive right up and pick you up so you don't get your little feet wet. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's just like the kind of fun I had in Cletus's hovercraft. It is not fast. I don't care. We don't know that yet. You haven't hit high gear. Well, that was in that was in high gear. But no, it's got two speeds though. It'll it'll get it'll get to another level. The kids are gonna love this thing. When we go drive in the lake, they're gonna be like, "What?" Don't tell them. Just 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 be driving and just be like, "Let's just drive it in the water and see." Watch them freak out at yeah, first. Never tell yeah. Them. <laughs> They'll probably start crying. They'll cry when the brakes lock up and I'm stuck out there doing circles. <laughs> That's why I think it'd be sweet to put a trolling motor on the side of it. That's not a bad idea. So you can, you don't have to move to control yeah, it. Yeah, a little electric one? Yeah. Dude, that's not a bad idea. Secondary battery right under this fuel tank. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. I had a lot of plans. I wanted to put, you know, a bumper jack on it, all kinds of, make it like a apocalypse vehicle. But then I was like, no. You're We've like, been needing a clapped out Suburban for years. I, I mean, really, your <laughs> life wasn't complete until you picked up Black Beauty there. <laughs> My wife been wanting a new vehicle, and I was like, I <laughs> Yeah, you know what? You're right. New vehicle would be cool. But how about this Suburban? You care a lot about her, don't you? Yeah, I was like, you deserve a nice vehicle. Y'all are staying together, huh? In it for the long haul? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, the downside of this whole thing is, is... I'm not gonna get any credit with my wife because although a vehicle is leaving and it's a vehicle she wouldn't like at all, she never actually saw it. So there's no credit. She's Mine's happy. You know, <laughs> yeah, you're, yours is like, whew, one's gone. Wait till this break and it ends up in your lawn. <laughs> Let's go again. Are you kidding? I'm gonna cross the lake. We're going all the way, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. They may have to pick us up at the campground over there, but we're getting there. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Maybe if I sit on this side, you can stay on that side and it'll even it out. Mm. Always remember, today was the day we took Kermit across the lake. Hi, <laughs> right. gear, because she likes to run. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go.
this means. This is a boat. This is a boat. And a car. I will use it as such. Alright. Can we go back home? Sure. Alright. It's definitely rough on land. <laughs> you almost slung me out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it made it all the way over there and back. That is so cool. And really warm. That's that's definitely yeah. taxing it. Yeah. I think we've probably beat on this harder than anyone in history with this particular one. And um, outboard. Outboard on the back. That's yeah. the key. Like get it into the water and then engage outboard. That was amazing. Dude, it worked. It totally worked. <laughs>